Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today I'll be showcasing Celebi Amazing Rare from Vivid Voltage. But before that, I want to first thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. Please click the like button if you like this video, hit the thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it actually helps me out in getting this video to more viewers like you. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. So let's get started. Many players ask just what makes Celebi Amazing Rare amazing? Well, let's take a look at its unique qualities. Celebi only has 60 HP, which makes it absolutely squishy. However, its two attacks is what makes it stand out. Its first attack is Energy Press. For only one Grass Energy, it will do damage 30 times the number of energy attached to your opponent's active. At first glance, this attack might be weak, but on average, Pokemon attackers use about 3 energies, so for one energy, Celebi can deal 90 damage. And there's not a lot of Pokemon who can deal that much damage for one energy, so in my opinion, this is an amazing attack. But Celebi's second attack is what makes it really amazing. For one Lightning and one Psychic Energy, Amazing Bloom allows you to evolve every single Pokemon in your bench. And this will be the focus of today's video. I'm going to showcase what makes Celebi amazing. However, because there's really no way for us to increase our bench space in standard format, I will be using Celebi in expanded format. Until Skyfield Stadium gets reprinted or something, we'll be utilizing this stadium card in these builds. And the main goal will be to evolve as much Pokemon as we can at one time. And another key Pokemon we need is Ninetales with the Barrier Shrine ability. Each player can't play any stadium cards from his or her hand. This is really important to prevent our opponent from knocking out our Skyfield Stadium. Because once they do, you'll discard most of your Pokemon in the bench. And it's also very important to remember not to evolve into Ninetales until after you play the Skyfield Stadium. For the most part, this should keep your opponent from discarding your stadium. Unless they have Field Blower, Faba, or whatever, that can remove stadium cards. Okay, so the next questions are, why would you want to evolve so many Pokemon? And how can we make a deck stand out with so many evolutions in play? Because there are so many variations, I will be showcasing two different deck builds for Celebi. This will be one of two videos. Okay, so what makes this first build unique is that we'll be hitting for weakness for the majority of Pokemon typing in the game, and also be defensive at the same time. Just to make it easier, majority of the evolution Pokemon I use will only be stage 1s. So our main attacker will be Donphan, because it only requires one fighting energy to attack. Earthquake will do 120 base damage. However, it will do 20 damage to all our benched Pokemon. But that's okay, we'll also have Milotic in the deck. With its bright heal ability, once during your turn you can heal 20 damage to all of your Pokemon. So even if Donphan's Earthquake damages all of our Pokemon, we'll just heal it all back. And just for kicks, I've added one copy of Memory Capsule so that Donphan can use Fan Piece Strike Back Attack. For one fighting and one colorless energy, it will deal damage 30 times each damage counter on this Pokemon. So with Donphan, any Pokemon weak to fighting will be covered. Next, we'll be using the three evolutions for Eevee. First is Vaporeon with the Aqua Effect ability. Each stage 1 Pokemon in play are now a water type. Second is Flareon with the Flare Effect ability. Each stage 1 Pokemon in play are now a fire type. And third is Jolteon with the Electric Effect ability. Each Stage 1 Pokemon in play are now a Lightning type. With these three, it adds an extra typing to Stage 1 Pokemon. So our Donphan is now a Fighting, Water, Fire, and Lightning type Pokemon. It's important to note though that VMAX are not considered Stage 1. I've tried it and the ability does not take effect on any card that doesn't say Stage 1 on it. However, Evolution's ability can also work on Silvali GX. Although I'm using this mainly for its Disc Reload ability, once per turn this allows you to draw cards until you have 5 in your hand. You can actually use this to attack as well. For just 2 colorless energy, Brave Buddies can deal up to 120 base damage if you just played a support card. So if we hit our opponent for weakness, for the most part we'll be doing 240 damage for all of our attacks. For added effect, I've also added Galarian Rapidash with the Pastel Veil ability which prevents any of our Pokemon from being affected by any special conditions. And we can also use this as our Psychic type attacker. And another Pokemon is Galarian Mr. Rhyme with the Screen Cleaner ability, which prevents any effects of our opponent's attacks except damage done to your Pokemon that have energy attached. 
So for example, if your opponent's attack also has the effect to discard an energy, it will not have any effect on our Pokemon. So with all of these evolutions in play, we can make Donphan good offensively and defensively. As for added consistency, I'll be using one copy of Gormandai's Snorlax. As for other cards worth noting, I have 4 Pokemon communications. This will ensure that we have our evolution Pokemons in our deck before we use Celebi's attack Amazing Bloom and exchange that evolution card with a basic Pokemon to put on our bench to evolve. This will really help out with the effect of showcasing Celebi's amazingness. As for energy, I will be using 4 copies of Aurora Energy and 4 copies of Rainbow Energy and 4 copies of Double Colorless Energy. This should take care of our Celebi's attack costs as well as our other Pokemon in play. And I'll also be using 1 copy of Special Charge so we can recycle 2 Special Energy from our discard pile back into our deck. With all of that said, ideally what you want to set up first is Gormandai Snorlax at the very beginning of the game and then Celebi on your bench and attach one energy on it in your first turn. The next step is to get your Skyfield Stadium in play and Vulpix to protect it once evolved into Ninetales. Followed by your basic Pokemons, get as much basic Pokemon in your bench but make sure to start with at least one fan P in your bench so that you can set up your attacker. And everything else as needed depending on your matchup. And that's pretty much it, the deck list will be in the description below. But enough talk, let's have some fun and see some gameplay. Alright, so you guys ready to see some Celebi action here? Alright, we get to go first. I actually prefer going first with Celebi because uh, since we can't uh, evolve all of our Pokemon anyways, might as well set up as early as we can uh, in, the, in the match. So all we have is Eevee right now. What we're going to do is get Snorlax, put that on the bench with the Nest Ball, and... Um, see if we attach this aura energy, maybe we can, um, who, what, we don't want to discard any of the evolution Pokemon here. I think I'm just gonna remove this, uh, double energy and we can always just get it back. Um, so we're just gonna Gorman dice here. Oh man, unfortunately we're getting uh, a lot of the evolution Pokemon. We need basic. So we're up against uh, Pika, Pikachu and Zekrom tag team. So um, we we do have the upper hand because we are hitting for weak, weakness uh, with Don Fan. So even with just the one energy, we can just knock out that Pikaram uh, with one hit. So uh, this is nice, but we'll see. We'll see how how good our opponent. Uh, opponent's build is so they're gonna use um... all right let's see they have magnezone they can actually energize really quickly if they set up but I'm not sure what what their main strategy is with this Pika Pikaram um, uh, build and I guess they're just gonna attack with a flop so that'll give us another turn to set up here. And we really need that Celebi. We do have, um, uh, I think we're just gonna use Pokemon Communication, get these Evolution Pokemon back in the deck. Let's see, uh, we need Celebi. So we'll put that in the bench and put this Rainbow Energy. That'll damage Celebi, but that's okay. And we're just gonna Gormandize so the main thing is really to get as much basic Pokemon as we can on the bench. So really the main goal is for me at least uh, with this uh, is to show off really how, how, how many Pokemon we can evolve in one turn with Celebi. Alright so they are, our opponent was able to knock out our Snorlax. Since we haven't set up yet as much we're just gonna put Eevee in the active and play this Skyfield Stadium. And uh, I didn't mention it, but uh, we are using Steven's Resolve. Um, let's see, with Steven's Resolve, you can get any three cards in the, the in the deck, but it'll end your turn. So we need something to shuffle back all of our cards. So we'll get Cynthia, Volpix, 
and a Don um, Manfi. So we have our main attacker ready. Uh, and then Vulpix will uh, help protect our Skyfield Stadium from being uh, uh, knocked out by our opponent's uh, own uh, stadium. So we need that for sure. So we do also have an Aurora Energy. Uh, that way we can put that on Celebi and we can evolve all of these Pokemon. So uh, in our next turn, we're probably going to use Cynthia and hopefully we get more basic Pokemon out of that. And let's just, our goal really is to get, how, how many Pokemon can we evolve with Celebi in one turn? That's that's my main goal with this, uh, this deck build. Uh, while making it uh, also a contender to our opponent. So we'll just put all of these basic Pokemon. Uh, we'll put this Aurora Energy on Celebi. And let's get rid of that. Use Cynthia. Hopefully we get more basics. Okay, cool. So we get that, and let's Pokecom Celebi and get another basic Pokemon. Let's see. Um, oh, here, Type Null. I totally forgot about that. We do have that in the deck as well. And we have Silvali to evolve it. So we'll just switch Celebi, Amazing Bloom. Um, let's see, we can evolve this into Jolteon. Evolve that into Rapidash. Flareon, Donphan, Ninetales, Milotic, and Silvali. So seven evolutions in one go, guys. <laughs> Have you seen anything so amazing? And only Celebi can do this in the game right now. At least from what I know. All right, so our opponent says well played. That's probably the first time they've seen anything like it. Uh, so this are a really nice uh, showcase. So in reality, if we were up against um, a multi multi um, type deck, uh, unfortunately we're up against a Picaram. So Don Fan can just take care of that. But if they are playing something that is like a flying type that is actually uh, resistant to fighting. Uh, since Don Fan is now a lightning type, uh, it will also hit for weakness on against flying type Pokemon. So, um, and we also have Volt, um, Nine Tails now, so they can't really replace our Skyfield, and they're just gonna knock out our uh, Celebi. But now we have an a Rainbow Energy to energize our Don Fan. So let's just get another Fan P. In case they knock this one out. Put that there. And we're just going to disc reload here. Get more cards on our hand. Um, let's just use another nest ball. Uh, we can get this Mr. Mime. We do have Mr. Rhyme in the, in the deck. So let's just do that. Um, put that memory capsule there. And we're just going to heal. Because when we uh, hit for Earthquake knocking this one out that will hit 20 to all of our Pokemon in the bench so that'll get us one price card we get another nest ball so our opponent hasn't set up as much as um, I guess they would like yeah <laughs> um, I mean we're an expanded format uh, I gotta admit though there's a lot of uh, players that are pretty new to the game so they're just starting off and um, uh, their builds are not as, as good as some. So uh, maybe our opponent's just not getting the cards they need. But they have so many cards on their hands, so I'm not sure. But that's okay. Uh, let's just right heal here. <laughs> that's amazing, you know. All those Pokemon being healed at one time. Uh, let's see. Where can we put this double energy? Um, I think we could just put it on Fan P here. And maybe, let's see, should we use Skyla? I don't think we need anything, but let's just use Skyla. Um, not sure. Maybe we can get another um, Cynthia or Marnie. Yeah, let's use Marnie because that way we can shuffle out their, their hand. Disc reload. Um, okay, let's just use Earthquake here for our knockout. And... That'll get us another price card. 
All right, so yeah, we got this game. This one's pretty uh, simple. Uh, again, our opponent is weak against uh, fighting types, so you know what? Uh, this was a pretty matchup, uh, pretty easy matchup, but at least we were able to showcase what Celebi can do, evolving all of those Pokemon. So GG's uh, to our opponent. Alright, so let's move on to our next match here and uh, see how we do. Alright, we are going second. Alright, cool. We got Snorlax to go in the active, which is perfect. Um, Steven's Resolve. Now, Steven's Resolve, I did use Professor Oak uh, in my preliminary builds for this one because uh, you know, thinking about it, you want as many basic Pokemon in your bench as uh, soon as possible. But sometimes when you have a lot of basics already and you just need a different card, um, Professor Oak just didn't do it well enough for me uh, as, f as far as setup goes. Let's see, they have Kyogre, Spring Tides, flip a coin until you get Tails. 30 times and then ocean cyclone 80 okay so that's not too bad um and then they have kyogre ex water pulse sleep and then return energy all right so our opponent is a big fan of kyogre i guess um they their box is even a kyogre <laughs> um hey i i like that it's a theme deck all right, so let's use the Spokecom. Um, let's get our basic. Uh, let's just get Celebi first because we do have um, Rainbow Energy to attach. And let's see, should we Gormandize or Resolve? Um, I think we're just gonna Resolve here. Steven's Resolve. Uh, get our Vulpix, Manaphy, and Type Null. Um, actually, we need something to shuffle our hand so i think cynthia is better so just put that there um i'm hoping for uh, another aurora or rainbow energy for our celebi in our next turn and uh, some more basic pokemon anyways we can gormandize uh, either way if we don't get what we need but yeah professor oak what uh, seemed to be the most viable um but it just didn't get me the cards that I needed when I needed it. So I just went for Steven's Resolve because you can just get whatever three cards you want in the deck. Uh, although it ends your turn, it's kind of like Gormandize, but getting the cards uh, that you need exactly. So, all right, we got another, uh, we got an Eevee. Uh, we'll just put Type Null there and uh, Vulpix. So we'll switch into Celebi. Hopefully we get a Rainbow Energy here. Okay, cool. <laughs> so cool all right so we'll do that uh we can evolve these yeah we should be fine we uh celebi could get knocked out but that's okay um kyogre i was looking for kyogre's um uh, weakness but it's not weak to any fire lightning or anything like that so it's all right celebi will have to be our main attacker uh, meanwhile, we'll just uh, evolve these two. I didn't evolve into Nine Tails yet because we don't have our Skyfield. Because again, if you evolve into Nine Tails and you haven't played uh, Skyfield yet, you won't be able to play it at all. So, oh. <laughs> well played. Uh, <laughs> um, so our opponent's attack depends on coin flips. So they got Tails in the very first try, unfortunately for them. So let's just get our Skyfield here using Skyla. Um, let's use Disc Reload. Maybe we can use uh, Bloom one more time. Uh, Nest Ball. Let's see. We can get Feebas. Um, use Pokecom. Get rid of this. And I think we can use. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, we got Mr. Mime. Yeah, we'll just put that in the bench. And I think I'm just going to attack here. Energy Press. 420 damage so if they have two energy that we're hitting for 60 and double that uh, so with Kyogre it does the it's only weak to grass type so actually Celebi is a good um, uh, Pokemon to fill in that 
uh, grass type uh, strength against those our opponents that are weak against um, uh, grass type. So again, their Kyogre is trying, but it's just it just keep failing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so we'll just put this on Don Fan, uh, and then we can use uh, Amazing Bloom. Just evolve all of these, and it doesn't really matter which one we get. I'm just gonna get Flareon. Evolve those four. So, it, you know, it's amazing that you can just evolve uh, all these Pokemon. I'm thinking maybe to just evolve, like, into a lot of Type 2 Pokemon. Um, we could do that, but I don't know how many Type 2 Pokemon. It's the same Kyogre EX, just different artwork. And they're gonna attack us. <laughs> Celebi is like tanking all of this attack. <laughs> so we'll just heal up here. I think I'm just gonna put this to an energy, uh, double energy. My bad. Disc reload. We get another sky field, and I'm just gonna enter energy press to knock out this one, Kyogre. And we only get one price card for that one. So there you go, guys. Celebi with just one energy, really. Um, you can hit for that much uh, damage uh, in one hit so um, Mr. Uh, uh, Rhyme is really good too because um, um, This Kyogre EX can make your Pokemon sleep. I don't know if that will work Because uh, it's technically a special condition, but We should have ju just actually played um, uh, Galarian Rapidash uh, but that's okay. Okay. You're gonna attach an energy on Kyogre EX. And we are just gonna retreat. And I'm gonna start attacking with Donphan. Um, Bright heal first. Because we don't want too many in too much energy, uh, too much damage on Celebi. So, we're just gonna hit Earthquake here. Deal 120 damage on our opponent's Kyogre EX. So... Um, yeah, this one's, uh, a, it's, it doesn't have a lot of HP, um, Glaceon, Blizzard, okay. Water Pulse. Yeah, you know what? I guess Mr. Rhyme's, uh, ability works on special, special conditions as well. It's considered as an effect of an attack, so. All right, so we'll just finish it off. We get another uh, rainbow energy off of that and another Pokecom. So we're all pretty much uh, all set in our uh, in our bench. So we don't really need to any do anything. Yeah. Yeah, so Mr. Rhyme, yeah. I guess it's regarded as a uh, special effect. Uh, an effect of an attack. So Mr. Rhyme's ability... Um, is effective on that as well. Uh, you can just earthquake here. I just <laughs> we could have just uh, beat him with the heavy impact, but I just wanted to see. I just want to see Milotix, uh healing. It just it looks so cool when you heal all of your Pokemon at one time. <laughs> so not only did we see so many. Um, Pokemon being evolved, we also see all the Pokemon being healed. Uh, now this Kyogre again is uh, weak against grass. Um, and it has three energies on it because it has a uh, double energy. We can actually use Celebi. Now let's, sh let's just showcase Celebi's um, attack power here. When it hit for hits for weakness for one energy, it's just bright heal. Nice. And we're just going to energy press for the win, dealing 180 damage for one energy against our opponent's Kyogre EX. Alright, GG. So that's Celebi for you guys. Awesome.
Celebi is definitely an amazing Pokemon. It deserves its amazing rare status. It's the only Pokemon in the game that can evolve so much Pokemon in one turn. The effect of seeing all the Pokemon evolve in one go is amazing. As for this build, it covers such a wide coverage to attack for weakness that it really stands out. And I just gotta say, I really love that healing effect with Milotic. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.